in this new video series, Go Behind the Scenes of our prop firm, which houses numerous elite seven and eight figure traders to learn our techniques and processes for producing robust, high accuracy options trading strategies. In this case, a powerful option strategy with an 85% win rate. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafiore, co-founder of SME Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the trading classic, One Good Trade and The Playbook. In part six of this new video series for the trading community, learn a key trading principle, the power of team trading that has helped our traders thrive and how that drove the development of this new and powerful option strategy for you. Let's get to work on sharing this important trading principle and trading strategy so that you can grow your trading account. My family and I were on vacation and I picked up the rental car keys and my wallet and told my wife I'd be back in an hour. Where are you going? She asked. To meet a few traders, I responded. She shot back with a quizzical look. We're on vacation. I'll be right back, I replied. That quizzical look continued, one I'll never forget because of what has come after from that meeting. I met these two traders for breakfast who were seeking a chance at our firm. They were frank that they were fledgling retail traders, but they shared the work they were doing to improve, and they dropped a voluminous playbook of their best setups on the restaurant table in between our omelets. They demonstrated in detail with specifics the intense, in-depth work they were doing on their trading with this playbook. It was clear to me from our conversation their intensity the work they were doing, their obvious ability, that they should be given a chance at the firm. And so we offered them an internship. And during their internship, they stood out during this opportunity that we had given them. And they got hired. And look, they were transparent that they were in some debt from trying to achieve their dream alone, becoming a professional trader, and needed some financial help. So we arranged to pay them monthly to cover their expenses. And for the first six months, the, the story wasn't all roses. They were mostly flat, not making money, not making money with their trading. But using their networking skills, they talked their way onto a trading team at the firm, run by a solid, but by no means star trader yet. And this trading team was also solid, but again, not one of the top teams at the firm yet. But the senior trader took a particular interest in teaching these two traders how to improve. Specifically, they worked super intensely on execution. Where could they be better with their entries? Where could they sell better? Where could they add to winning trades better? And they prepared with their team together. They reviewed with their team together. They chatted during the day about trade opportunities with their team together. They researched new trading ideas with their team together. They built technology to assist their trading with their team together. And the senior trader shared some of his favorite trades with Edge with these two traders. And these traders started to improve. They started to improve dramatically. And then something happened that I bet very few of you would expect these two traders started sharing their strategies with the senior trader. The senior trader scrubbed their entries and exits, made the strategies a little bit better, and then started adopting them for his trading. And then the senior trader himself made significant progress with his trading from these strategies. In fact, the senior trader became a black shirt trader, netting north of two million in trading profits for the year. The senior trader was learning from these two junior traders, and these junior traders were thriving from the learning from the senior trader. This teamwork continued day over day, week over week, month over month, until the present. Now, these two traders are some of the best producers at the firm. The senior trader is one of the top traders at the firm. That trading team is now the very best trading team at the firm. I recently sat with these two traders for lunch and asked them, how do you feel? 
How do you feel now after having all that debt when you entered the firm to their financial state now? And they rejoiced at their new found financial freedom from in debt to now very secure financially. They were now literally different people, a better version of themselves. They had now changed the direction of their trading careers and their lives and were experiencing all the rewards that come along with that. I'm often asked, Bella, what's the favorite part of your job? That. That is the favorite part of my job. Remembering back to taking that breakfast meeting, my wife's quizzical look, and then a few years later sitting for lunch with these now successful traders. Seeing their happiness from achieving their dreams and living a better life because of it. Where would they be today without team trading? Would they have made it as traders? Where would that senior trader be today if he had not accepted those junior traders onto his team? Would he be a black shirt trader? What would have happened if I never took that breakfast meeting while on vacation with my family? From my seat, I would have missed the privilege to watch these traders and their team thrive and become the best versions of themselves. All of the traders at our firm join a team. They work together to make each of them better. We succeed together. And Seth, what I love about the weekly options income machine strategy is that you took one of the key principles from our culture at SMB and applied it to the signal. Team trading is a key principle for our culture at SMB. It's the major reason why we've been successful. Scott and his team and you and our team teamed to make this strategy a success. Can you share with us how you did this and what the result was? Well, Mike, what we were able to do on this project is to pull together a really impressive team of brains uh, from lots of different resources that are available to me here at SMB as a result of the tremendous diversity and experience and knowledge of the staff here at SMB. We pulled together a team for this project, not only traders on our options desk, we brought in two elite futures traders. We, of course, had the entire team of Investiquant, uh, Scott Andrews firm down in North Carolina, uh, as well as SMB's systems guru, um, and of course, the partners of SMB were all deeply involved in the development of this program. The more smart people you get involved in a process like this, the more exponential the results are going to be in terms of uh, system improvement, honing, and optimizing it. And so when you get a group of that, those kinds of, that kind of brain power together, uh, you get a lot of uh, idea generation and you hone the ideas down and you test them. Um, we had an enormous backtesting uh, task ahead of us when we took on this project because we not only, as we explained in previous videos, wanted to take a look at the most recent three years, we went back an additional 10 years, had to create very sophisticated models to model out what those 10 years would have looked like for certain market structural reasons. And as a result, uh, we came up with a uh, model that reassured us that this system was going to be successful in essentially every market. There were massive resources involved in this project that took 10 months to complete. We met once a week with the entire team uh, in order to discuss progress, brainstorm, solve problems, and then we got back to work until the next week. It was an intensive 10-month, sometimes grueling, sometimes frustrating process until we got to the end, which was a very, very satisfactory outcome. Now, we realize that most retail traders don't have the time or resources to locate scientifically developed daily trading signals and then figure out which option strategies to apply in an optimal way to take full advantage of that signal. And so SMB has taken care of that for you. We've developed a highly profitable one-day options trading system based on a sophisticated trading signal that can be easily implemented by traders of any experience level in just minutes a day. 
If you're interested in learning more about exactly how that system works, go ahead, click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free workshop registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. I think you're going to be pretty intrigued by what we've developed for you, so pause this video, sign up now, and then resume watching the video. So for example, in a, on a recent morning where the market opened up at 4408, we would have entered a credit spread which would have uh, collected $320 in premium at 9.30 in the morning because the IQ signal had fired off a long trade that morning. If we then took that trade just 15 minutes later, we would have had a 10% reduction in premium down to $288. Had we waited 30 minutes, we would have lost 54% of the premium that we would have collected at 930. We would have only received $174 as opposed to 320. These were the kinds of issues that were not intuitive to us. Why? Because uh, some people would argue you'll get a better feel for the market uh, when the market settles down. Sometimes you'll get a sort of a, a false breakout or a false breakdown at 930 and then uh, you'll have a more clear picture of where the market would be at 945 or 10 a.m. Well, as it turns out, the IQ signal is quite powerful and typically when it fires off a long or short signal, the market most of the time will go pretty hard in the correct direction for our winning trades. And that's why we win 85% of the time. In many, many cases, the market moves hard in the direction predicted. So you wait some time and there's going to be a lot of value loss in the option spreads because of the nature of time decay and the nature of price movement as it affects option spreads. So this kind of an issue where we had to look at and quantify what is the optimal time of day to start the trade was something that took months for us to study and reach conclusions about. And even today, we still study it and observe what is the time decay that takes place between 9.30 and 9.45 and what are, in fact, the optimal times to start these trades. It's this kind of intensive research with lots of resources and teams of people designing the studies and executing them in the form of backtests that is the reason why we're able to create a successful system that has withstood the test of time. This trade, by the end of the day, was a win and because we got in at 9.30, we got the full $320 win. If we had gotten in at 10 a.m., we'd have gotten quite a bit less. And that is because the system and our research informed us of the appropriate time of day to get into these trades. You see, when we started this team process, we had developed initial findings. Investiquant and our options team had developed initial findings. We then presented them to the larger team and the very first question the larger team asked us was, okay, this looks promising, how can we make it better? That, that, that kind of challenge, that kind of dynamic of a team process can only help you to improve your systems. And so we went back and tore this thing wide open and looked at every possible angle and combination of things that we could think of and that the entire team could think of. For example, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are the only expiration days available for SPX index options. But that did not um, discourage us from looking at starting a Tuesday trade, which would expire on a Wednesday, or a Thursday trade, which would expire on a Friday. We looked very, very hard at that issue. Uh, we ultimately concluded that the Tuesday and Thursday trades had almost no edge. This was frustrating to us because we would have had more trades per month if we were able to include the Tuesday and Thursday trades. However, we are not going to be giving busy work to ourselves or our subscribers. We are going to suggest only the trades that have edge. We looked at this issue I just mentioned, the 9.30, 9.45, 10 a.m. Ent trade entry issues and found very conclusively the best thing to do was to start the trade as quickly as possible after the market opened. We decided, as I mentioned, to exclude Tuesdays and Thursdays. Another very important issue we needed to look at was the 
location of the spreads. If you open a spread up very close to the market, you're going to get paid very well, but that spread is in more danger of being a loss because it's closer to the market. The farther the spreads are away from the market, the much higher the probability is of making money on the trades. So we located our spreads at various locations compared to where the market was and found the optimal location for the spread. We also looked at wing widths. How much protection essentially are we going to buy? The, the farther away an option, the long option is from the short option, the more risk you're taking on, but you're getting paid much better for taking that risk. We had to strike that balance between too much risk and therefore too much volatility in our returns and not enough return even though the volatility would be less. And we achieved that. We looked extensively at the effect of volatility levels on premiums. And as a, as a result of that, we understood that in certain environments, you're going to get paid a lot better than in other environments for the adoption of our system and in what contexts our system tends to be more profitable. We looked at whether we needed to implement a stop on the trade intraday. Our ultimate conclusion was we actually reduced expectancy by messing with the trade basically intraday. We found out the best thing to do is allow the signal to play out. In most cases, it's going to play out favorably as an 85% win rate would seem to indicate. We spent months putting together a model to basically replicate what the years 2008 through 2018 would have looked like uh, if SPX index options were available on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays throughout that entire period when in fact they were only literally available on Fridays. So we had to model the other days and this modeling was in a very, very sophisticated process. Why did we go through all that? We went through all that because we did not want to subject our capital or our subscribers' capital to the possibility of um, uh, the last three years basically being a fluke. By going back 12 years, we reassured ourselves that the signal was solid and that combining options credit spreads with the IQ signal was going to result in a solid outcome. Finally, our systems guru said to us, you can't just look at the returns and drawdowns of what happened in the market because what happened to some extent is somewhat random. So you've got to mix it up and there's a very sophisticated technique called a Monte Carlo simulation where essentially you jumble up your outcomes and you put them in different orders and you see what would have happened from a return and from a drawdown standpoint. And we were very, very reassured to find out that the returns and the drawdowns uh, were very, very uh, favorable and consistent, even subject to a Monte Carlo simulation. Hey, Seth, those are great points. Um, it's been a, quite an intense year, year and a half for sure. Uh, if I can just add this one specific example that really stands out to me of something that we would not have thought of um, had it been left to just my team, but you guys uh, weighed in with the idea, and we were very reluctant to it, but that was the idea of trying to create um, uh, to approximate, if you will, model what would have happened had there been weekly options existing prior to 2018. Because our signal's been trading for many years and we could go all the way back to 2008, but we didn't have options pricing, so we stopped, but you guys challenged us hard. I do remember it wasn't something we necessarily wanted to do because um, we had to cre create some pretty sophisticated regression models. We had to do a lot of sort of factor modeling to figure out what had the greatest impact on the option pricing to um, really have confidence in what we were doing. So you guys pushed us and it was a, a, a very long process and uh, it took us a few tries to get it right. But the end result was fantastic because it did not only validate the overall signals efficacy, right? And the ability to apply them to options and use options, weekly options specifically, to take advantage of it. And, um, for those many years, which gave us confidence, but it gave us even more confidence seeing how it performed in different environments, like 2017 that was an ultra low volatility environment versus some, uh, 2015, for example, was a much more volatile market, and certainly 2008 and 2009 as well. So uh, I think in the end, though, it was a lot of extra effort <laughs> and some frustrations, frankly, with the team, because you guys were pushing it so hard. Um, it was a win for all of us from a confidence point of view and from an end product point of view. 
So as I mentioned earlier, regardless of the type of trader you are and your experience level, you can utilize our system to augment your main trading activities because the IQ signal only occurs two to three times a month on average and can be executed in under a minute the few times per month that you do receive a signal. We'd encourage you to attend the webinar where we can offer you this system at a huge discount. So just go ahead, click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free workshop registration page in the new window. I think you're gonna be pretty intrigued by what we've developed for you. So sign up now to arm yourself with this powerful trading signal before it's too late.